What is SKU Grid and how can it make you more money? Hey, I'm Paul, and I'm committed to teaching you the exact strategies I use to create multiple six-figure businesses on eBay and Amazon. These are the same methods that changed my life, and I'm here to show you how they can change yours as well. SkewGrid is a software that helps me run my eBay dropshipping business. It can also be used to help run your Amazon dropshipping business as well. And what it does is it changes the prices on eBay if the price changes on your supplier's website. So let me show you an example here inside my computer. This is the type of dropshipping I do. I find this item on Walmart. Here it is right here. And you can sell the same exact item on eBay. Here's someone selling it for a pretty high markup right here. So you list this item up for sale from Walmart onto eBay. But what if the price goes up on Walmart? You wanna make sure that the price changes on eBay as well so that you don't lose money. And if this item goes out of stock on Walmart, you wanna make sure that it goes out of stock on eBay as well so you don't sell an item that you don't have in stock. And that is where SKU Grid comes in. This is what it does. As soon as you set it up, it's pretty much runs just in the background. If the price changes on Walmart, it will make sure that the price changes on eBay for you. If it goes out of stock on Walmart, it will make sure that it goes out of stock on eBay for you. That's all done for you automatically. That saves you so much time. When you have thousands and thousands of listings, that will save you so much time. So this is what SKU Grid looks like. And I wanna tell you why it is that I'm using SKU Grid. So when I first started dropshipping, this was pretty much the only software available that did this kind of automation for you. There are plenty of softwares out there now that do it. And I've tried a lot of them, not all of them. A lot of them are great. But the reason I keep coming back to SKU Grid is just because I found that it's really reliable. It just ends up working at the end of the day. Now, why I left it in the first place, just to be fully transparent about this, is I, I never really liked the way their website looked. It didn't really feel the most user-friendly to me. Kind of, if you look at it here, these are all your items. It's just kind of in this grid form. There are almost too many settings that you can choose from. It can feel a little overwhelming, like there's a little bit too much there. And for a beginner, it's a bit confusing, all that information. But what I will say is that SKU Grid is getting better and better at becoming more user-friendly. So for instance, this page with all your listings, in the past, this used to take a really long time to load. Like sometimes it wouldn't even load at all if you had too many products. And that's something we had been complaining about for a while. And SKU Grid actually listened to us. They changed it. So now this page loads about 20 times faster. There's no issues with this page loading at all. They've also made the website look nicer. In the past, it didn't look this nice. Now everything is right here. You can click here. If you need to list items, this will help you quickly list an item like this onto eBay for you. And you can see all your orders if you set that one up as well, which I don't have set up. And even just adding an item to SKU Grid, this is just so much easier just filling in this information than it used to be in the past. So SKU Grid is definitely listening to us. They're definitely making changes to help make our lives easier when it comes to drop shipping. And hey, if you do end up trying a SKU Grid, I encourage you to use the link underneath this video that is my, affi my affiliate link. But if you sign up with that link, it shows me that you enjoyed this video and that you want more like it and it will help me out and you'll get a free trial if you sign up with that link as well. The other huge benefit of SKU Grid is that they work with, I think, over 500 different suppliers. I'm just going to go to their sales page here and scroll down because this is where you can see all of them, see all supported stores. Check out all of these. So you can list items for sale on eBay from any of these websites and it will automatically reprice and restock those items for you. This is more than any other repricing tool that I know of. So this puts you at a huge advantage right here because more and more what we're seeing is that people are using the same sources to drop ship from. Sources like Amazon and Walmart, for instance. But if you diversify, if you use some of these other sources that other people are afraid to use or don't know to use or don't use just because other people don't, that puts you at a huge advantage because no one else is selling those items. So for instance, you could drop ship 
Crocs right here, or a drop ship from Lights Plus I just saw. I've actually purchased something from Lights or Lamps Plus myself for my own home, and it was a great product, and I'm sure it'd be great to drop ship those as well. So, so many choices, so much, so many chances here for you to diversify the items that you are drop shipping on eBay. And let me show you exactly how easy it is to have SKUGrid reprice one of your items. So, what you'll do is actually click here where it says Lister, and that's going to open up for you what they call SKU Fetch. And SKU Fetch is what you use to actually list the items. So, now this is the item I want to sell right here. So, I'll just copy down the URL. I'm going to paste it in there and click process. And now what it's doing is it's pulling all the information from Walmart and it's pulling it into its system and that will then allow you to list the item onto eBay. Let's give it a second to load though. So boom, here's all the item information right here. I'll just make sure I choose the right variation. So the one that I'm selling, because look, here in Walmart, they sell a few different options here. It's available in different sizes, and different colors. So I want the plaid, the red plaid queen. That's specifically the one that I wanna sell. So I'll just choose here queen red plaid. And then what you can do is, I right, look at the images. I only want the red plaid ones. So I'm going to deselect these ones. Boom, boom, boom. And then it makes a really nice looking description for you. Look at this, this is what your listing is going to look like. It's going to look really, really nice here. It's very professional here. I'm just ringing it over to make sure there's nothing in here I don't want, but usually it's fine. And then if everything looks good, I just click down here at the bottom where it says process, and then that item will be listed onto eBay for me automatically. Once that's done, this is going to send the information to SKUGrid. So it's going to appear right here, like any of these other items, and it will tell me the name of the item. I can click right here, and that would bring me to the item on the supplier's website. In this case, the supplier is Home Depot for this item. I can click here, that will bring me to the item on eBay, and I can edit the item here. So it's a really fantastic software, and pretty much once you set it up and list an item, it just runs in the background for you. So if you wanna check out SKUGrid for yourself, click on the first link underneath this video to try it out. And I do hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.